think uh, a Mayweather fight can definitely happen in the future. Um, I mean, if that happens in Wembley, it'd be amazing because you know Wembley is a, a great venue to take a big fight, and 100% you know, will sell that out. Uh, giving the British fans a huge fight like this would be big um, because Mayweather is such a big name as well. But if, if, wherever it is, you know, it's a big fight for me. And I'm, I'm a boxing fan, I love boxing. And I want to give the other boxing fans around the world a huge fight and want to give them some good fights. And that's what I'm here for. Tell me about the, uh, the, the trunk that uh, oh, you like the trunks, yeah? uh, expensive and uh, there's a lot yeah, of uh, I, people talking about it. Well, yeah, I've got the, I've got the most expensive boxing shots I've ever been made. Uh, they earn about like $50,000. Uh, they're going to be made out of uh, real gold uh, stitching, and uh, you know, the, I mean, I'm I'm really you know blessed to be in a position like this. I've, and I'm I'm a, I'm a member of a of a uh, of a it's a called 24k carat. It's a, it's a membership for a clothing membership, and I'm number 47. So you know, it's, I'm a member of this clothing company that makes all my uh, all my clothing and stuff like that. So that's why we decided to do a, a boxing kit. And uh, I choose them to do that. So, fight label made my kit, but it's been done by 24KT. Uh, so, uh, Christmas is coming, so if you want to give, give me like yeah, a yeah. present, it's okay. Christmas is coming, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do with the shorts? I mean, I'm gonna see what happens after the fight, and then I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give away the shorts because, you know, uh, either it's charity or something like that. Yeah. Because, you know, in the day, That's I love to give charity. To yeah, you have to give back. Because, what, what am I gonna do with them? You know, I've worn them and I've used them, but I wanna give it where it's gonna make a difference in someone's life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can everyone give him like a step? Can everyone take one step back without stepping on each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So here's what we'll do. You guys go. Ben, and get we'll closer. You guys, so you guys yeah. start closer. right here. Yep. All right. And then we'll do this half, and then we'll do this half. Okay. Okay. Amir, how relieved are you after 12 weeks of finally getting yeah. to this point? You're here at Media Week. 12 weeks is a long time. I've been in training camp. It seems forever, and you know now I'm here, um, literally days away from the fight. I'm looking forward to just getting it over with. I mean, I'm up against Devin Alexander, who's also been training very hard, but I think I'm in better condition. I've been working very hard and not made any mistakes in this fight. I can go in there and do what I do best. Do you have like a pre-fight? fight ritual that you do before going to the ring? Well, you know, ritual, I mean, I always, you know, like to, um, you know, like shower before the fight, do my prayers, meet my mom and then leave the leave the hotel uh, because I'm just one of them guys. I mean, I, I've, I've always been doing that. And then once I go to the venue, you know, I like to uh, put my boots and just take my time and relax and chill. So I've always stuck with the same plan all the time and it's always worked for me. Keith Thurman just said that you were the most overrated fighter in your division. What do you think about that? Well, you know, I think I thought, I thought you might think the underrated. I mean, because, I mean, Keith, I mean, I've gone in there, I've proven it many times before. For the likes of Maidana, the big names, going to England, back and forth. And coming to America, not many fighters like me would come, leave England where I can make millions and come to America. So, obviously, people are going to say that, look, why have they got my poster out on, on the Vegas Strip? Why have they got my picture everywhere? Because, you know, I, I must be I must be something special. Um, but, you know, people have their own opinions and I just let it be. Amir, you know, speaking of that, uh, for some reason or another, you get a lot of criticism. Uh, some of it uh, warranted, some of it not warranted. Uh, for you, does it ever get to you or get under your skin? It, it never gets to me because, you know, I always stay cool about it. and. I mean, when you know you're getting criticism and people are talking about you, it's because you're doing something right, really, but you're always going to have people who hate you for it. And people just can't see the fact uh, that, you know, you're getting a lot of, uh, you know, good good stuff about I mean, people are always saying good things about me, but then you'll always get the handful who say bad things. They're only saying that because it's jealousy, I think, more than anything. It never gets to me. It just motivates me. I mean, when people say bad things about me, it's only going to push me and drive me to do more better things and work harder, really, in the gym. So if they didn't say anything about me, any bad things about me then maybe I'll be quite lazy and I'll be just going on you know but I mean because they talk bad about me and try to put me down that just motivates me and drives me to train harder did you do you pay attention to what's said because I know some fighters do go online and they read that stuff no. and then they, they kind of read it and it kind of gets into their head sometimes but never I mean I mean I have like over 1.5 million followers you yeah. know on Twitter and on Facebook like 3 million followers so it never gets to me because look end of the day you always have someone who's not going to like you or say something bad but it never gets to me but I have you know what makes up for it is I have so much so many people who have good messages to send me I, have, I get more good than bad so yeah how is this all uh, so far you know it's uh, another five week you know another uh, five week man we see the cameras here you know, yeah. you know how, yeah. how is it this time it's great to be back here in Vegas I mean I love Vegas love fighting over here it's a mecca of boxing and here at the MGM and not only fighting in the MGM but being the top of the bill I mean that's so special and it's a it's a great time for me man I'm just gonna soak it all in and I'm gonna make the most of this night what do you feel he's gonna come out with 
something out of the fight. Well, you know what? Damian Alexander is going to be in the best condition ever because obviously he's he's going to be up and it's a massive occasion for him. Uh, he wants to prove a point and he knows that you know winning, winning this fight can take him on to bigger and better things. Um, that's why I'm not taking him lightly. It's yeah. going to be a very hard fight and I've been training very hard and I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm just going to go and do what I do best. Thank you, Amir. Thank you very much, Jack. Quick, and then we'll go on the right. Amir, you're here back in the big lights in Las Vegas for a title fight. Yeah. You've had some big setbacks in your career, but you never stop believing in yourself. Yeah. Do you think that separates you from a lot of fighters? Oh, definitely. You know, one thing about me, look, I've had setbacks in my career, and I've come back from it stronger. And I think all fighters should be the same. I mean, you're always going to have setbacks. I mean, it's only going to make you a stronger person. And I think I've proven myself, you know, and proven to other people around there that, look, when you, when Amir has had a setback, He's always come back stronger from it and it's never got to me, it's never, it's never put me down. I mean, I know fighters who have had setbacks and retired and I've, I know fighters who have just never been the same again. But with me, I mean, I've been knocked out in fights and I've lost fights that I should have won, but I've never let it get to me. I've just come back stronger from it. What is it that allows you to keep that confidence and allow yourself to think you could beat any fighter in the world? You know, it's my, it's my religion, it's my faith. You know, I, I, I'm a Muslim and I, and I pray and stuff. And, I, you know, God gives me that strength. I have so many people praying for me and I have prayers from everyone, my mom and everyone. So, you know, things are that help and, 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 and you know, take you, take you to the end. Thank you, bro. A lot of people talk about the fight with Floyd Mayweather coming up. Yeah. But is it important that you do not look over? Yeah, Devin I'm not. Looking, I'm not looking past this fight. I mean, people can say what they want. I'm not looking past this fight because I know this is a very hard fight, and I don't want to make any mistakes in this fight because enough I'll never be there. I've been. I've always been close to the Floyd fight, but for some reason, you know, I look past it and I get beat. But you know, now I'm not looking past this fight. This fight is for me is the biggest fight. Last question for you, Mir. Do you think you have a dominant performance Saturday night? Definitely. So it's going to be a great performance and you're all going to be happy, man. Thanks, Mir. All right, thank you. Hey, Amir. How are you doing, man? I'm all right, thank you. How are you doing? Sorry. Amir, how do you see this fight against Alexander? Tough fight. Yeah, it's, similar styles. It's, we've got very similar styles. Now, guys, when you have similar styles, you know, always give it a, it's always a very tricky fight. You know, it's like at times it's going to be a game of chess, at times it's going to be a fight, at times it's going to be a boxing match. So, you know, we've trained for everything, really. We've done everything we had to do. It's going to be hard. I'm looking past this fight. This fight, for me, is a huge fight. A top in the bill at the MGM Marina, which gives me more motivation and, you know, gives me more confidence. But it's going to be a tough one out there for me, and I'm going to go in there and grab it with both hands. You headline a card here when also there's another uh, fight going on, you know, just down the street, more or less. How does that help or hurt boxing, do you think? Um, I think, you know, with, with I mean... We, me and Bradley are the same same weight and you know we've got history in the past when he should have fought me and he avoided me twice so really I'm just showing him that look I am the bigger name in boxing I am the bigger fish because look I mean everywhere you go in, in, in Vegas people are talking about one fight even though there's two fights on the night people are talking about one fight which is Amir Khan you know, Amir Khan's fight against Alexander no one's talking about I've not heard many people talk about that uh, Bradley fight but this is boxing look people, people know what's going to be a good fight what's going to be an exciting fight and that's what we're going to give in the MGM. It's going to be a good fight for the viewers who come to watch the fight. They're going to be, they're going to be more than happy to see a good performance. All right, thanks a lot. And a great event. Thanks, Amir. Yeah, man. Thank you very much.